there are many new recommendations in the 2019 guidelines on pulmonary embolism and also many updates in the algorithms compared to the older guidelines of 2014. Uh, regarding the diagnosis of PE, we have kept and updated the risk-adjusted diagnostic algorithms, now better defining high-risk pulmonary embolism and hemodynamic instability, and also giving some more recent information on how to interpret D-dimer level, D -dimer levels based on the patient's clinical risk. Uh, the central management algorithm of pulmonary embolism has been updated to clearly show the clinicians which questions they must answer in order to determine the patient's risk class and then uh, manage the patient with the perfusion or anticoagulation in hospital or at home accordingly. New recommendations have been added based on recent evidence on how long to treat patients of, after pulmonary embolism and when to extend therapy and uh, when to reduce the dose of anticoagulants after therapy. And we also have two new algorithms and very uh, and updated recommendations on how to diagnose and manage pulmonary embolism in a pregnant patient and also on how to follow the patient after acute pulmonary embolism over the long term, which tests, when and in which patients are necessary in order to manage, to prevent and uh, manage late sequelae of pulmonary embolism when they appear.